What is going on, you Waskily West Wing fans? Yeah, I just went Elmer Fudd on you. We are live, UCW, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we did take that left that Bugs Bunny didn't want to do. And ladies and gentlemen, let's start off right now. Coming out of the gate, we got some ladies for you. And this one right here is Allison. Allison coming on down. She's ready, set, and able to kick some ass. Chew some bubble gum. She's all out of gum. But ladies and gentlemen, if you have not been paying attention to the last few weeks, it has been crazy. You need to go back and check everything. I mean everything out. I mean, did you know about the Taylor Boys. Did you know about the Bullet Club having a third member? Did you know Big Bad Rob still looking for a hot dog vendor? All those questions have been answered week after week. So you really need to go back and check everything out. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we start a brand new episode, a brand new week. And I do have breaking news that I will bring to you throughout the show. But ladies and gentlemen, come on out. It's Emmy. Emmy's getting set to challenge Allison for some one-on-one -on -one for a one-fall matchup here tonight. New Mexico is getting high. I mean, it's already high as it is. I'm sweating my ass off. It's like 104 in here. I don't know. Man, I need some water. I need something. These ladies are getting hot and heavy too. Just coming on down to the ring. And it's not the only time that we're gonna see some ladies fighting out tonight. We got more on the way for that. But of course we will kick off the action between Allison and Emmy. Two ladies who definitely definitely have been at some of the front runners and of course with Brittany and Jen going back and forth Brittany is now the champion of UCW in the women's division but Allison and Emmy want to state their claim here tonight to see who could be a number one contender one day now, I said I was going to bring you breaking news as we see Emmy start off with a nice suplex to kick off this match. Ladies and gentlemen, as the commissioner of UCW, I have booked an event. It's a few weeks away, but we are actually going to do a live event in Japan. Yes, I said it. We are going to be having UCW live from Tokyo. And look at this armbar right here by Emmy. Oh, man. Now, of course, as the commissioner, I did pull some strings, you know, with the WWE side. I've done stuff with Vince McMahon. But this is all different. This is all independent. Oh, my God, what a power bomb right there. Emmy going right after Allison, setting up. For a nice suplex. Man, oh man, look at the power. But yes, I have worked out a deal. We will be bringing you live action from Tokyo, Japan. It's a few weeks away. You got to pay attention. You do not want to miss out on it. Oh my god, what a leg drop. Just spinning around. Now Allison's second rope. Telling Emmy, come on girl, get on up. Because I'm about to take it down. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. What a hurricane Rana from the second rope. Sweet move right there. These ladies, of course. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, just crushing the boobs and everything. But these ladies know what it takes to become a number one contender one day. Could we see Emmy go into that role? Could we see Allison, who a lot of people have said... She has the potential to make it, but she's got to go over the hump. And oh my God, what a right hand. Another right hand right there. Oh, 
Now we got the nasty knees to the midsection. Stunning Emmy. Emmy now taking Allison into the opposite corner over there. And now she's whipping her into the other corner. Oh, what is this? Oh, driving a knee full force. I think she ate some Chinese food before, but oh, look at this. Look how quick with the defense. Oh my God, face plant. Oh my God. I mean, now trying to build up that head of steam. Get in the mix section. Oh, oh, uppercut. And now, Emmy looking to set up for the knockout punch. My God. Cover. One. Two. No. My God. That right hand was more devastating than Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather punches combined. Yup. Oh, what a bitch slap. That was even more entertaining right there. Drop kick. Allison on the offense right now, looking to set up. Look at this. Belly to belly. Allison now, cover. One, two, no, could not get the three count. This match will continue. And now Allison's sitting in the corner, relaxing, knowing that she's gonna probably be one of the participants to go to Japan. My God, I cannot believe I booked this deal. I mean, it's a few weeks away, but Still, nice reversal right there by Emmy into a suplex. Japan is gonna be lit, man. Japan is gonna be on fire. Here we go, oh, taking her down. Allison trying to set up for something big here, I think. Turning Emmy over. Uh-oh. Oh my God, that could blow out a knee. And now Allison trying to get this crowd, just telling. I mean, get up. Get up. But of course, I think Emmy's dead. I don't know. She's not moving. She hasn't really been moving. Oh my god, that leg drop just woke her up. And now Allison looking to set up to finish Emmy here. Could this be it? Kick to the midsection. Uh oh. Spike DDT. My god. Cover now. One, two, Three and Allison picks up the W here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The UCW crowd. Wow. They are just kind of they're into the match. They they didn't expect the finale of this match, I guess you could say. This final 30 seconds. I don't know, they kind of seem a little on the edge. Like I wanna be quiet, but I really need to cheer for you that type of thing I don't know that's what I'm getting the reaction out of this crowd right now maybe just the New Mexico fan base is just more I don't know what's the best word to say it maybe they're just dehydrated and stuff just like me and they're just kind of dead and quiet I don't know but either way Allison picks up a win and she could be one step closer to a women's championship number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for more UCW. You do not want to miss any more action. For real. It's great. I'm telling you, stay tuned. And we are back live, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And here we go, come on on out. Ooh, I'm looking at the, like, the green man, it's just so cool. He looks like a damn leprechaun right now. But it's Tyler Derby and Hicker Billy coming on down. I'm not gonna lie, he looks like a damn shamrock shake from McDonald's during, you know, March. I don't know, I mean, it looks pretty sweet. I'm used to the red, but the color change really standing out. So Tyler Derby, and of course Hickerbilly, 
set to go for some tag team action here tonight. Who is their gonna, opponent's gonna be? I mean, who are they gonna really be at this point? Well, you know what? That question will be answered right here. Oh, right now. And coming on down to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan Gray. Ryan Gray, of course, been battling back and forth between singles and tag team. And we've seen some wins, we've seen some losses. But either way, Ryan Gray is looking to change any of the fortunes and make sure that he picks up the W here tonight. And of course, as he's strutting his stuff, getting this crowd behind him, who's his tag partner gonna be? I wonder. Are you wondering too? Because we're about to figure out who it is. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now, it's crazy to see him it's Brian Beretta getting pumped up to team up with Ryan Gray. The crowd here is actually behind Brian Beretta. I'm telling you, I actually, I think I saw a lady actually lift up her shirt in the front row. But he didn't want to pay attention because he is focused right now on what's at store right now. And that is a tag team match. So ladies and gentlemen, as we get this match prepped and loaded, I gotta tell you, this is gonna be epic. We got Tyler Derby and Hickerbilly. We got Ryan Gray and Brian Beretta. Referee, ring that bell. And here we go, starting off. Oh, look at the back body drop to start the match off Tyler Derby. Again, he looks like a damn shamrock shake. I actually enjoy it. I might actually go pick up, well, some mint chocolate chip ice cream or something because they don't have shakes right now. Oh my god. Let's go. Ryan Gray setting up. Uh oh, this is not looking good. Oh, the face buster right there. And now tagging in Brian Beretta. Overhand punch. Oh, look at this. Brian Beretta getting a nice little shot in. Tyler Derby now quick on the reversal, getting out of that one. Uh-oh, hooking the arms up. Oh my god! German suplex right there. Hicker Billy getting the tag in. The crowd is just so ruthless right now. They're just cheering and booing for anybody at this point. I don't know. New Mexico fans must be crazy. We've been from different city to city. We've been state to state. Country to country. And that reminds me. I already mentioned it in the last match. But you guys have to stay tuned in a couple weeks. As UCW will be going to Tokyo, Japan. Nice jawbreak right there to Hickerbilly. Beretta now tagging in Gray. Oh, break of the eyes. Come on, ref. Into a Russian leg sweep by Ryan Gray. Hickerbilly is in trouble. Dragging him in the middle of the ring now. Knee to the mid of the back. <laughs> that guy has a sign that says, hi, mom. <laughs> Hickerbilly now tagging in. Tyler Derby. Tyler Derby. Oh, nice right hand. Ryan Gray counters with some elbows to the face. Missing that punch completely off the mark. Oh my god, what a move right there. Who are you? Oh, look at this. Oh my god, springboarding. Completely turning around into a leg drop. Tyler Derby is showing a lot of promise. And look at this. Oh, the Hurricane Rana quick by Ryan Gray. Tag back in to Brian Beretta. Oh, what a clothesline by Brian Beretta. Tyler Derby quick to get up. Uh-oh, German suplex again. 
Tyler Derby quick on that suplex, and here comes Hickerbilly. Hickerbilly right hand. Trying to go for that move, but uh oh, what is this? Oh, a German suplex. Brian Beretta saying he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, uh, why is he twerking in the ring? Oh, kid. Oh my God, kicked in the midsection right there. Now Hickerbilly. No, Brian Beretta back and forth, flying with a knee. What the hell was that? That knee sucked ass. And now, Tyler Derby. Tag back in. Beretta's down. Oh, look at this. Oh, the reverse suplex with such force and impact. And now, Tyler Derby going up. Elbow drop off the top rope connects. And the crowd here loving the race car driver of UCW. Oh, punch. Oh, no, here we go. Back and forth action. Oh, clothesline from behind by Beretta. And now we're going to do a cover. One, no. Whipping to the corner now. Oh, kick to the face. Tyler Derby does not want to be on some double team action, especially with two guys. Oh, now it's going to happen this time. Beretta and Gray setting up. And double back body drop. My God, did you see the elevation on that? He was like at least 15 feet in the air. Beretta taking out Hickerbelly. One, two, no. Brian Beretta with a cheap shot to Hickerbilly. Oh, and what a kick right there before he gets back on the apron. Come on, ref. This referee needs to get some order. Oh my god, and now Ryan Gray flying off that second turnbuckle. Of course, that fan right there says off the top rope. We need to see some high risk maneuver. And you know Tyler Derby can bring that to the table. Dragon screw right there. Taking the leg out. Ryan Gray now going for a cover. There's a one. Uh, there's a two. No, there is not a two. It's like 1.8. These teams are going back and forth. You start picking on one guy and you're like, oh man, he's doing really good. And look at this. Oh, sunset flip. Into a cover now. Come on, referee. One. Two. No. Not going to happen with the two. Oh, my God. What a nasty knee right to the side of the head. Now Ryan Gray just dropping knees and stomping away on Tyler Derby. Leg drop right there. Connecting. Oh, kick to the face. Tyler Derby. Oh, now he catches a nasty right overhand punch right there. And oh, reverse. Dropping him down face first into the mat. Back and forth action. Oh, oh, no. It could be. It might be. It is. Psycho Driver connects on Tyler Derby. And there's the cover right there. One, two. Okay. Oh, no. It's a two. Hickerbilly just broke up the pin to save Tyler Derby. And now Ryan Gray trying to build that momentum up. Just wear and tear all over the body of Tyler Derby. Look at this. Oh! Nice little head scissors taking him down. Brian Brett on the outside going after Hickerbilly, but Tyler Derby trying to lay waste to Ryan Gray. Brian Brett back up again. Trying to go after Hickerbilly. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. Overhead belly to belly. Look at this. Oh, he's looking to set up Tyler Derby. Could he be going? He's setting up for the crash landing. My God. Cover now. One, two, no. 
And Tyler Derby. Man, oh man. Trying to do whatever it takes. Clothesline. Another clothesline right here. Off the rope. Oh! One foot drop kick connects. He's building up the momentum. He's got him up. Slam him straight down to the mat. Tyler Derby doing whatever it takes to lay the pain. Oh my God, to Ryan Gray. But Ryan Gray comes out with the knee. And we got a cover now. One, two, no. What the hell is going on over there with Hicker Billy? He's getting all twitchy. Somebody needs to, you know, tell him to stop drinking 20 Red Bulls or something. And Ryan Gray. Oh my God, what a move right there. Ryan Beretta getting tagged in now. And Beretta trying to stalk his prey. Oh. Tyler Derby now looking to set up. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that power bomb just throwing him all over the place. Landing face first on that bottom rope. Tyler Derby looking for another crash landing. Cover now. One, two, three. Yeah, no. I thought it was going to be three, but it's not. Oh, here we go. Hicker Billy now in. Oh, he's going for the cover now. One, and whoa, look at the power. Brian Beretta just kicking out of that one with so much force. Knee to the face now. Brian Beretta setting up to build the offense. Oh, what is this? He's got him up, suplex connecting. Uh-oh. And there's the Exploder Suplex. Not as cool as the Commissioner's. Oh, was, oh my god. What the hell was that? Some judo toss. You need to stop hanging out with the little kids. And now. Uh-oh. Could it be? He's got him up. He's looking for the Tractor Supply. Hicker Billy with the Tractor Supply. Now there's a cover now. One, two, and oh, Beretta got the shoulder up. This match will continue. Ryan Gray not too happy trying to go after Hicker Billy. Need a midsection now. Going for the suplex. No, Brian Beretta with a nice knee to counter that one. Sit down, jawbreaker. Completely stunning. And, oh, what a neck breaker right there. Cover now. One, two, three. Why did Tyler Derby not pay attention to that? I don't know. But Brian Beretta and Ryan Gray will get the win here tonight in New Mexico. What a match. Back and forth all the way through between both teams. All four guys coming out. But of course, two of them had to win. And that wind up being Ryan Gray and Brian Beretta. Man. But I gotta say, I'm excited for all the other matches coming here tonight. And I still can't believe I have brought the announcement of you guys getting to witness UCW going internationally over to Tokyo, Japan. I'm excited. You know, I'm working out the details and everything for the arena and stuff like that that we're going to be doing the event in. You know, trying to learn a little Japanese. Not like Doro Magato, Mr. Obato type of Japanese, like... Yeah, more than just konnichiwa or sayonara. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The ladies and gentlemen, Brian Beretta, Ryan Gray, victors here 
tonight. So please stay tuned for more UCW action. You do not want to miss all the other action coming your way. We are back live. Albuquerque. And oh my god, I got dark in here. Holy shit, I can't see my hand in front of my face. Oh wait, the music's playing. It can mean one thing. Coming on down to the ring right now, ladies and gentlemen. The demonic one. Her name. Is Sinful. Sinful gonna get some tag team action here tonight. Oh baby, the strobe lights are all kicking. And here she goes running into the ring. Just head bang into the beat, baby. You know, this is a pretty deep, dark, twisted song. You know, if you work at Hot Topic or something, you obviously know what I'm talking about. Actually, no, they become more watered down. I'm not gonna lie. Remember when Hot Topic used to be like music and stuff like that? Now it's just like, I feel like I'm emo. And now coming down to the ring, her tag team partner, who she debuted with a few weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Rose is set to be Sinful's tag team partner. I told you I was going to bring all the ladies out. I told you I was gonna be like, oh my god. Like, this is almost like that Netflix show Glow, which actually is based off a real women's wrestling company. Yeah. Historic fact for you, you Netflix and you know chill watchers. It's actually kind of based off true stories and true events, so. I haven't seen it yet, but you guys understand the reference I'm bringing. UCW plus women plus wrestling equals one hell of a good time. And now coming on down the ring, she's been having lots of beef. And I'm not talking about the actual meal, but she's been having beef with Amanda Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you good golly, Miss Holly. La di da, woohoo, skipping all the way down the ring. You know, I guarantee it, if she were to come out like Lil Red Riding Hood, it'd be hilarious. Like, that's how, how I really feel about the situation. I might actually tell Holly, come on out looking like Lil Red Riding Hood sometime. She might do it. She might obviously do it. And I'm cool with that. I, I'm totally cool with that. I think all the guys who watch this would be like, oh my god, man, she's so damn hot. I don't know why I was trying to intimidate her. Yeah, whatever. The alcohol's kicking in now. Kind of slurring my words. I'm feeling a little woozy. But here it comes. Man, she blew up my heart. It's dynamite. Dynamite coming on down to be a highly tag team partner. Oh god, these ladies just. Other than Dynamite, I'm just so glad that I'm signing good talent like this to UCW. It puts asses in the seats. It gives great revenue to wind up getting bigger and better things with or without Vince McMahon's help, all I'm saying. But this is where I'm really pointing out some great facts, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies... They just bring everything, the looks, the talent, the skill set, the moves, you name it. So here we go, Sinful, kicking it off against Holly to start off this match. Ring the bell, ref. Locking up right here, and oh, the Bulldogs starting the match off strong for Holly. In the middle of the ring. And whoa, 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 whoa. We do not want that cheap ass mascara all over my mat. Okay. We have to dry clean these mats. 
I don't want to see no gothic black face paint, you know, doing that type of thing. Ooh, kick to the back now. Sinfono trying to set up Holly. Got her up. Suplex. You know, she's a little girl. I'm not, well, she's not really a girl. It's a woman, but, you know, I got to say this. Sinful is smaller than some of the competition, but she is packing so much power for being one of the smallest people here. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? Chuck Norris called one that roundhouse kickback. Holy crap. I did not expect that. And now, looking to tag in, and she will. Amanda Rose is now coming in. My God, just towering over Holly. I mean, these two ladies just just have beef. They just hate each other. And now, just trying to rip the arm off, trying to rip that collarbone and shoulder just completely off. Oh my God, Amanda Rose. Oh, kick to the face. That's gotta hurt. Oh, kick to the kneecap. Okay. Now we're getting personal, trying to blow people's knees out. I mean, we have good insurance, but not that great, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Drop kick again. Holly now. Really trying to take it to Amanda Rose, but Amanda Rose back up now. What is this? Rapap! Oh my god. Do these ladies go to like, you know, Master Wong's freaking, you know, Kung Fu class or something? Holy crap. They're just coming out with these vicious kicks and everything. Oh my god, look at that. She did like one of those Liu Kang freaking kicks now. Dynamite now going with the splash. I'm serious. These ladies must have been going to Master Wong's freaking Kung Fu dungeon. Or maybe they're watching Ninja Turtles or something too much. And they're like, oh my god, I learned this from Master Splinter. Oh, look at that. I mean, she was trying to go for an Insiguri kick. Completely flying up in the air. Oh, what a push by Amanda Rose. Taking down Dynamite. And now Amanda Rose. Oh, Dynamite coming out with the cheap shots right there. Cheap and quick. Oh! Completely slamming her face down in the mat. Oh, this is not gonna bode well. Dropping the knee right across the forehead. That's gotta hurt. And Dynamite getting all pumped up right now. This Albuquerque crowd trying to live in the moment. Watching all these ladies fighting. Man, oh man. Here we go. Oh, look at that famous sir. Holy crap, she did one of those like Super Mario jumps. Just to get that famous sir. And here we go. We got a cover now. One, two, no. Not gonna happen. Oh, sinful with a cheap shot. Dynamite not like from that one. Now sets her target back on Amanda Rose. Dynamite tagging in Holly now. Holly looking at a helpless Amanda Rose. Coming out with a boot straight into the back of the head. And now Amanda Rose, oh, got her up. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. Samoan drop connects. Man, just so much power. Now sinful back in. Oh, I'm telling you, these kicks that they're learning, I swear, I've never really seen that many kicks out of these ladies. Oh, DDT. Holly with the DDT. Now tagging back in Dynamite. Holly getting a cheap shot in before she goes back on the apron. Sinful didn't like that. Takes out Dynamite with that suplex. And now the ladies, I'm, I'm telling you, the ladies are going to love it in Japan. They are going to love it so much. Top rope action right now. Oh, this is not looking good. This crowd is getting completely raucous. Oh, my God. Spinning 
completely getting that foot all the way around. My god, I felt like that was Street Fighter for a second. These ladies are going at it. I'm telling you, this is going to be crazy. Dynamite. Getting the tag back into Holly now. Holly's the legal woman in the ring. Oh, side slam. Dropping her straight on her head. Top rope. Holly wants to have dynamite. Or, not dynamite. Sinful. Sinful gets completely cross bodied. I wanted to say dynamite, but I was completely wrong on that one. That was stupid of me. I don't even know my rosters anymore. Botchamania on my part. Oh, what a big boot. Sinful now. Oh, what is this? Man, that's gotta hurt. Oh, and then a reverse DDT. After three vicious knees right into the lower back. And now Amanda Rose. She's like a shark right now. She smells blood. She's gonna just go right after Holly. Oh man, I am just gonna see something completely. Oh, what a headbutt. Holly now, a nice little toss. Oh, taken back down Amanda Rose again. Oh, here we go. And running leg drop, connecting into a cover now. One, two, three. And Holly picks up the win. Dynamite is jumping for joy. After that leg drop, connects. And the ladies here. I don't know. I, I don't know how I really feel about that match. I feel like it was a great, you know mid-card match really but it wasn't like spectacular like I've seen matches before I don't know like I'd give it a nice three out of five that's for sure but it wasn't something that really got me up to the edge of my seat but there's the leg drop right there connecting and Holly picks up a one two three for her and sinful oh my god I don't know how I felt about that, but ladies and gentlemen, please, 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 please stay tuned for more UCW action. Do not go anywhere. All right, and we are back live, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our next match. Crowd is just buzzing with anticipation. Oh, shit. Great, here we go. I'm really disappointed now. I didn't think he was gonna make it. He did, ladies and gentlemen, your Global X Champion. Big, bad, blob, I mean Rob. Yeah, everybody hates him because, well, he looks at hot dog vendors and he just, trying to talk so much trash and everything and everybody just wants to super kick him in the face I mean I don't know and what's really 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 disappointing is the fact that he is now a member of the prestige is that sad or what I mean that's like going out in the middle of some busy city and just be like hey look I'm gonna pick up a homeless guy to come live with us. That's basically the best breakdown I can give to you on Big Bad Rob joining the Prestige. I mean, we were such classy and everything, and no, no. But ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, there's a little history about this one because it is Omega C. When they first came in to UCW, Omega C and Big Bad Rob were actually a tag team. They wanted to dominate everything. They wanted to be champions. They wanted to run the tag team division. They wanted to run singles competition. And all of a sudden, it just kind of fell apart between them. No disrespect, but they weren't getting anywhere together. 
But now that they decide to bring Big Bad Robin Omega C back together for the prestige, I, I just don't know anymore. I really don't. But you know what? It's fine. Because the crew that is going to come out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I am so glad. I am so glad that these guys can pick up W's left and right. Ladies and gentlemen, your tag team champions. The Bullet Club. Dirty D. And also your UCW World Champion, Theo. These guys are legit winners, and I am glad that as the commissioner of UCW, it is way too sweet to get some W, baby. For, 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 for life. Oh my god. I'm so glad the commission is actually surrounding himself with actual real talent. I mean, how long have they been holding that championship? Seriously, I, I think it's been at least a good four or five months that these guys have dominated the tag team division. Nobody can stop them. The Prestige could never stop them. Tyler Derby and Hicker Billy couldn't stop them. Brian Beretta, Ryan Gray couldn't stop them. But whatever, whatever. Line them up. Here we go, Big Bad Rob. Taking it to Theo to start this match off. Oh, what a dirty right hand. And now we see Theo setting up. Oh, bridging him with that suplex right there. Big Bad Rob. Not looking good. Back body dropped a counter right now. And oh, baby. The commish is here. And a dick punch. Like, share, subscribe. Coming out with that running knee right to the forehead. Playing some mind games now. I am out to support my guys. What the hell was that? Theo trying to go with that Chuck Norris move. Oh, what a big boot by Dirty D. Here we go. Leg drop. Running back around. Spinning with another leg drop. The Bullet Club. Always so dominant. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. Dirty D just tilt a whirling all over the place with a 630 splash. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. He's got it in. He's got that locked in. Could we see a tap out? Come on, Big Bad Rob. You know you want to tap out. Quit, 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 quit. No, he is going to fight out of this. And what a knee right to the back of the head. And a left hand to the forehead. Concussions are probably going to be an all-time high in this match. Dirty D now. Said no, no, Big Bad Rob. Uh-oh. Going for a power slam. Sitting down with him. And Big Bad Rob looking to tag in. Omega C. The Big Bad Rob. He's not finished yet, but it, nothing's going to happen there. Because Omega C said, no way, Jose. Oh, back body drop to the outside. My goodness. Uh oh. Oh. Picking him up. Two hands by the throat and just... Slamming him down. Dirty D. Oh, shoulder tackle. We're at a three count. We do not want to see a count out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, what a power bomb on the outside. My God. The padding on that is not Tempur-Pedic, okay? It is, it is really not that much. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Like, share, subscribe with the double leg drop to the dick. My God. They need to get back in the ring. We're at five. And now Omega C trying to do something, but Dirty D getting him in the ring. There's six. Oh, what a nice elbow. The counteract. Oh, and a knee by Omega C. I always thought Omega C. Oh, hey, 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 hey. We have a cover. One, no. I always thought Omega C had a lot of potential, a lot of talent, and I was glad to have picked him up when I was the leader of the Prestige, but, you know, always seeing Willie Big Money, Chris Snook, 
and Omega C coming up just short every time, match after match. I couldn't handle it anymore. I couldn't handle it. And seeing Dirty D and Theo just be so dominant, it just inspires me even more. Here we go, cover one, two, no, not even a two count. It just inspired me more to go for better and bigger things. Need a turnbuckle now. Oh, big bad Rob. Oh, look at the combos. My God, that's like a four hit combo. What is this? Uh oh. Leaning straight back. Oh, what the elbow dropped right square in the heart. One, two, no. Man, oh man. And now we see. Look at this. Oh, frog splash. Right on the back of Big Bad Rob. That has got to hurt. Oh, we're trying to break the arm now. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, a vicious Russian light sweep with authority. And now Omega C back in. Oh, Theo says no way with the fireman's carry. Look at this. Neckbreaker. Oh, my God. He's still standing. That's got to hurt. Oh, my God. Do you see that neck just completely bend? That is not supposed to do that. Uh oh, what is this? Slamming him again. Uh oh. Is he going to do the elbow drop this time? Here he goes. Leaning back. Oh, man. Theo laying the elbow drop. And now Dirty D gets the hot tag in. Oh, what is this? Headbutt. I am cheering on my new team. Oh. I'll kick to the midsection. Kinjasa! Driving the knee, squaring the face. One, two, three, no! He kicked out. Omega C kicking out. And now Omega C is in that corner you do not want to be in. This is why I like seeing the Bullet Club just stomping away. Oh my god, just rapid fire kicks. Here's a high tag. Theo now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, here we go again. Dirty D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hot tag. Check this out. Flying in with a drop kick right square to the rib. I know you're wearing a bulletproof vest, dude, but that still will hurt you. Here's the hot. Oh, here we go. One. No, I was going to say the hot pin right there. And now Theo saying it's about over. Oh. Nice elbow drop right there by the world champ and half of your tag team. Oh. And I just see trying to get something going here. Oh, look at this. Oh. Samoan drop. Cover. One, two, no. Definitely was not enough to put the Bullet Club away. My God. Oh. Punch the midsection now. Oh, look at this. Oh, no, no. Oh, the super kick connects. Omega C blocked the first attempt. But Theo quick to realize his hands were still going to be down. Hot tag. What is this? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Both knees right across the face. What the hell, ref? Cover. One, two, three. I think the ref actually realized how sweet a move that was. And look, I'm getting up in the ring right now. Man, oh man. What a finish. I'm so glad that I am part of a winning team. And I will show support to the Bullet Club anytime, anywhere. Mama mia. Look at the cover right there. That didn't matter because that wasn't even the finish. But look at this. Ba -ba! Man. Shut up.
but that didn't matter either because the finish. Look at this, look at this vicious stance, man. My god. And check this drop kick. Oh, yeah! Bro. Taking the drop kick like a pro. That's for damn sure. With the Bullet Club. Victorious. It's so glorious. I'm so glad that I am part of a team that can pick up a W and I don't even have to be a part of the match. Man, oh man. So ladies and gentlemen, Bullet Club celebrating. Oh, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Albuquerque, New Mexico is about to witness the main event of the evening and coming on down to the ring. Stay oh, tuned for more UCW angry. action. Why is he always angry, man? Like, did somebody steal his Lunchable or something? I can never figure out why he's always mad because it's Jay Thunder. You know, maybe it's kind of like a weather pattern or something. Like, you know how you always say, oh... You don't want to be around the big storms and stuff like that because it could be very, very deadly and all that goodness. Like, I think that's Jay Thunder. I think that's the reason why everybody fears him. The Jay Thunder coming on down. Set to go one-on-one -on -one in a non-title match. Oh, my God. Bullet Club picks up the W. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, I announced it not that long ago, but UCW is going overseas to Tokyo, Japan. We're calling the event the Turmoil in Tokyo. I don't know. That doesn't really sound all that good. We might change it. We might have to sit on it and everything else like that. Maybe like the Tokyo Takeover or something. I, I don't know. I, I gotta figure it out, but... Everybody has to get their passports. Everybody has to get everything all squared away. And of course, our next pay-per-view. Oh my God, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. It is your United States Champion, Ronnie Tate, coming on down. Flying old glory all over the body. That's a pure American right there, if I've ever seen one. My God, just remember, a long time ago, I thought he was the political douchebag. But he's very, 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 very well dressed right now. Looking all spiffy with the stars and stripes. That is why he's the champ. He even called the match. He said, I'm dressing up, and I'm going to play the part. And he got it. He literally got it. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Jay Thunder, Ronnie Tate, non-title match. This is your main event of the evening. Carnival kind of tie up, and we see Jay Thunder take Ronnie Tate into the corner. Man, I, I just cannot wait until we go to Japan, and of course the next pay per view, Ground Zero, next week. This is just so crazy. I mean, we're getting so popular with UCW. It's hard to believe that a long time ago we were just some low budget, barely had anything going for us, and now we're selling out arenas all over the United States and, and Canada, and now we're going to Japan. It's crazy. It is so crazy. Oh my God, I mean, it's kind of funny that the commissioner can just randomly be spotted in grocery stores or anything, and all of a sudden you hear the chants of UCW, 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 just roaring city to city, state to state. Oh my god. But let's get into this match. Oh, Jay Thunder with the power slam. Ronnie Tate. Taking the brunt of that one, but he's quick to get up and tries to break the arm. Jay Thunder take out a knee so quick. 
What a move by Jay Thunder. Laying the boots, pushing the lay. Of course, I said round zero next week. It is going to be crazy. Oh, look at that move right there. My God. Flinging him straight back. Here we go. Picking him up. Slamming him down. Nice suplex. Sitting him down with it. What a move by our United States champion. Into the corner now. Ronnie Tate trying to set up for something big. He's picking him up. Setting him up on that top turn buckle. But Jay Thunder says no. And look at this. Oh my god. That's like a 225 pound man just flying right into your face. Ass first. Ass to face, dude. Oh. Knife that shot in a DDT to follow up. Jay Thunder now. Got him up. Oh, just flinging him around. And Jay Thunder chilling in the corner. Stomping away. Trying to get the momentum. Uh oh. Out of the corner. DDT spiking him. My god, he's just kind of flip flopped everywhere. Into that corner now. Man, oh man. I cannot just. I just can't wait. You got Ground Zero. You got Tokyo event. My god, look at this move right here. High risk went over back body drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just still can't get over the fact of the popularity that UCW is getting. And oh, look at this. He's got him up. Dropping him straight down. Ronnie Tate, quick on the cover now. Referee, one, two, three, three. No, why is it Ronnie Tate always gets the 2.9 count? And now he's setting up for political justice. He's got him hooked. Here we go. Up. Hang on. Boom, slamming him down. Here's the cover. One, two, no! Are you kidding me? Wow. Now Ronnie Tate, oh, sends on missing. Jay Thunder quick to get up. But Ronnie Tate not liking it. Oh, but Jay Thunder quick to get out. Uh oh, he's got him up. Oh my god. Slamming him down. Could that be it? Cover. One, two, no. Jay Thunder could not pick up the three count. Man, oh man. These guys are going back and forth. Ronnie Tay now sending Jay Thunder into that corner. Jay Thunder not liking that corner at all. Oh, man. Such velocity on that one. Jesus. I mean, whiplash times 100. Ronnie Tate, what's he looking for? Oh, oh, what a side slam right there. Oh, my God. These guys are just tripping each other back and forth. It's pretty crazy. Oh, that'll do some damage. That will too. Ronnie Tate laying it out right here, right now. Oh, what a slam. My God. What are these guys going to do to each other? Oh, driving the knee. Oh my God, Ronnie Tate, that's got to hurt. I probably broke you know, his nose or something. But Ronnie Tate now showing that it really didn't affect him all that much. And in the corner again. Oh, he's got him up. Could it be another back body drop? Oh, it's looking like it. It is looking like it, ladies and gentlemen. 
A second one? Oh my god. Man. High risk maneuvers can pay the price on both competitors. Oh, what a backhand. Bitch slap. Ronnie Tay just got bitch slapped by Jay Thunder and out goes Jay Thunder. Oh, look at this. Oh, sitting all over the leg. That's gotta hurt. Slamming the wrist down. Those mats are not that, you know, comfortable. There's not really a whole lot of padding on that. You're basically just protecting just a little bit from that concrete. And, uh oh, here we go. Oh, slamming him down. Ronnie Tate, quick with the cover. Where the hell is the ref going? What the hell is he doing? What the hell is the referee doing? Ronnie Tate getting up. He's like, dude, what the hell? Come on, bro. Focus, ref. Focus. And now Ronnie Tate looking to finish him off. Could this be time for a second political justice? He's got the arm locked up. He's got him straight up in the air. Slamming him down. Here's the cover now. One. No. Oh. A one count after a political justice? What? What? Oh, so disrespectful with that kid. But come on, what? A one count? My God, I mean, Jay Thunder is staying alive in this match. This is what's blowing my mind away. Driving the knee right into the lower back now. Ronnie Tate could be in trouble. Oh, he's got him up. Oh, yeah, there it is. Thunder bomb again. Oh, he's still going after every limb. What is this? Oh my god! Caving the ribs in. That has gotta hurt. Uh oh, uh oh. Get kick, like, share, subscribe, baby. And now he's setting up. He's setting up. Oh, wait. Look at this. What is this? Oh, my God. What a move right there. Jay Thunder. One, two, three. No, Jay Thunder. He thought it was three. Oh, now he's got him locked in. He's got him locked in. I'm a, I hope he's wearing deodorant. I mean, Ryan Tay is really struggling to get some air. Oh, there he goes with the knees. Ronnie Tay now. He's trying to do whatever it takes. But Jay Thunder getting out of that one. Oh, backhand. Woo! Man, oh man, these guys are going at it. And oh my god, what power! Completely. Oh, missing the super kick! Holy crap, did you see how high he got that leg up? I mean, that would have actually probably taken his whole head off if that would have connected. My god. That was way above Jay Thunder's actual height. That was like at least hitting around the 6 7 range. Look at this, slamming him down again. Okay, Thunder, looking to do some damage to Ronnie Tate. Oh my god. And now we got a cover, could this be it? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Thunder gets the W for the main event of tonight here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was a hard fought battle. I literally, I, I had moments where I'm like, what the hell? What the fuck, man? 
it was it was just back and forth all the way through. But Jay Thunder picking up the very impressive W here tonight in Albuquerque. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so much for watching tonight's episode. Please stay tuned for next week as well as Ground Zero, the next pay-per-view brought to you by UCW. And, of course, you do not want to miss out on the Japanese takeover in Tokyo. I, I gotta come up with a cool name for it. But, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great, great night. Stay tuned, like, share, subscribe to the channel for sure.